going on guys? It's William Holtz with Lake TV. Time for another edition of the LOZ Feature Doc Series presented by Jonathan Hartenstein, owner and broker with Lake Ozark Real Estate. And we've been showing you guys a lot of private residential docks and those are great, but all over the Lake of the Ozarks, you see these incredible commercial docks. And I was thinking, what goes into building, maintaining, upkeeping and operating one of these crazy docks like you see behind me? So we're gonna meet up with the Morris family at Pirates Point and they're gonna give us an inside look at what goes in to a crazy dock like these on Lake of the Ozarks. JR here, broker associate with Lake Ozark Real Estate. How about a custom dock at the lake house of your dreams right here in the beautiful villages at Shawnee Bend? Or maybe even your own slip at the iconic Topsider condos in the heart of Osage Beach. Whatever your lake dream, I can make it a reality. But that can wait, because it's time for another edition of the LOZ Featured Dock Series on Lake TV. All right, here we go. Got Adam Morris, one of the owners here with Pirates Point, gonna talk to us about this incredible dock. But first, Adam, I gotta find out about your family and the history behind uh, Pirates Point, man. It's uh, definitely a family-oriented business. I've been uh, down here since I was 10 years old. We have uh, two kids of our own. We've got a four-year-old and a six-year-old that are now filling in for my shoes from whenever I grew up uh, on the dock and on the lake here and um, love seeing them experience the same things that I did growing up and enjoying the, the features of the lake. Your mom and dad, Kent and Trisha Morris, heavily involved in the Lake of the Ozark shootout and the lake community. They really started this back in like 98 or 99, right? Yeah, we started business in 98 and then we uh, purchased the dock in 99. So we're going on, I uh, think next year will be 25 years. So I know this was here from day one and you guys have added on. So before we show the addition, I know you gradually added different slips and different elements to the dock. So let's go check out these two that I see have some boats and inflatables and let's check it out, man. All right, sounds good. All right, so we came over here to these docks and I'm curious, so where these kind of came in, were these here, did you guys build these or how did these come about? Um, this dock came from another marina down uh, towards the dam that sold out. Uh, we've done a little bit of work to it, you know, over the time here and there, but it's held up really well for us. And this dock is uh, mainly our rental dock. We did rent slips out of here for a little while, but now it's full of just all of our rental boats. We've had it for approximately 20 years or close to 20 years now. Now I want to head over to your guys' main dock, check out some of the awesome stuff you guys have for rent, meet the family. And another element I'm pretty excited about, gas on the docks. I mean, that's not super easy. That's kind of a complex process. And you guys have a lot of pumps over here for fuel. So I want to go check that dock out and maybe even get out on the water. Sounds good. All right, now we kind of stand where it all started. Now, 25 years ago, I think I saw your dad running around somewhere earlier. I know your mom's here all the time, but I look to my right here. Introduce us to who's over there. Closest to us is Ruby. Hi, Ruby. She's six years old. Then our wife, Jane. Hardest working woman at the lake. Oh, for sure. And then Millie. Hi, Millie. Millie. Morris. I love it. The girls are trying to convince us to go out in the water, so we're gonna have to try that. But first, I wanna find out I get here and I see all of the incredible toys and inflatables and different stuff. You guys don't just rent boats, you do a lot here. What all do you guys offer? Well, we've got a bit of everything when it comes to uh, having fun on the water. We've got kayaks and paddle boards, wake boards, knee boards, skis, water mats, um, anything to get out on the lake and, and have a good time, enjoy the sun, enjoy the atmosphere. And I also know you stop and you're hungry, you're thirsty, you guys can take care of that too. And it's kind of unique 
because this sea store's kind of been here for a while and you can't build them that big anymore. No, um, some people might not be aware the uh, limit for uh, size of enclosed space on a on a boat, you can't keep them out of the water. Uh, I love the it, baby. limit for uh, enclosed space on a dock is 80 square feet, which is not very big. Our store is grandfathered in. It's nice to be able to have uh, all sorts of snack options and drinks and ice and Lake of the Ozarks memorabilia and uh, souvenirs Floatables and stuff like that. and not just rent, you Sunscreen. can buy stuff, right? Yep. Floatables and tow strings and rope and all that good yep. stuff. Oil for boats, you know, come in, need a belt or need some oil or needs, you know, some little things like that, we can, uh, you know, get you taken care of. And we talked about the growth of the lake, and as people have discovered you, they come back time and time again, and they realize it really is a one-stop shop. And with that growth, you guys have had to kind of build on. I look behind me, and I see this incredible addition you guys just completed for this season. Let's go check that out, because I want you to talk about how you guys over-engineered, really thought through the longevity of this dock. Sounds good. Coming up on the LOZ Featured Doc Series, presented by Lake Ozark Real Estate. How does the gas get down to the dock safely and securely? After this. As you dream of your lake life, I invite you to dream bigger. Top Cider Condos, the coolest place to live at the lake. So what do you think? Your dream of living in luxury at Lake of the Ozarks could be but one phone call away. I wouldn't wait. Top Cider. Your time at the lake is limited, and at Sir Dyke Yamaha, we understand that. But that's why we offer boat and wave runner rentals at two convenient locations, fueled up shine and ready to ride. Whether you need a tri-tune for your group, a ski boat for the family, or a couple Yamaha wave runners to ride the waves, Sir Dyke Yamaha is ready and waiting for you. See the Lake of the Ozarks with a rental from Sir Dyke Yamaha. Book online now at SirDykeBoatRental.com. It's lake season, and that means fun on the water at the Lake of the Ozarks. But that also means it's bug, spider, and cobweb season. And Aquapest Solutions can get you ready for the season. Specializing in boat dock and pest control services, we can cover your dock, your yard, your home, and business too. So let our team at Aquapest Solutions do the job for you. Our treatments are eco-friendly and approved to spray over the water. So let's get rid of what's bugging you. Aquapest Solutions. Give us a call or visit us online to find out more. Polylift Boat Lifts. Boaters everywhere have relied on Polylift Boat Lifts to raise their boat up and out of the water time and time again. Polylift Boat Lifts are made of the finest materials and offer a lifetime warranty on the tanks. Stop by Polylift and see the huge selection of wet steps, water toys, and dock accessories. You can even shop online at polylift.com. Polylift Boat Lifts. You know what they say. We don't to build boat lifts. We build Your furry friends are more than pets, they're family. And at Our Veterinary, we understand that. With multiple locations, we can service your pets when and where you need it. Our team of professionals offer routine wellness, orthopedic care from broken bones to joint repair, and even emergency services. We are ready to welcome your pet to our family with medical or preventative care. Our Veterinary, with six convenient locations, the team providing exceptional care for your pet when and where you need it. Exclusive lake luxury is hard to come by nowadays, but that's exactly what's available at the Villages at Shawnee Bend. Whatever your lake dream, the Villages can make it a reality. Stake the claim to your lake paradise in the lake's premier luxury home development, the Villages at Shawnee Bend. All right, now on to the big addition. First, I gotta ask, who built this uh, monster for you? We had uh, Rough Water Docks here just at the bridge build it for us. We've uh, known them and had a relationship with them for a long time, and they've done a lot of work on repairing our old dock before we had them build this dock. Um, so I feel like they were the best choice to, to do it, and we were not disappointed. Now, let's talk about 
uh, first. You got these gas pumps, and I see them, and I just think, okay, the gas is probably in the tank, which clearly that's not the case. And so how does the gas get down to the dock safely and securely? So we've got uh, two tanks up on shore. We've got a, a tank for 87 non-ethanol and a tank for 93 non-ethanol. And it comes down to the dock in two inch uh, lines underground. And then once it gets down to the dock, there's some uh, breakaways that if the dock were to ever uh, break loose, that it would stop any gas from flowing from those lines or the tanks into the lake. Um, and then from those breakaways, it goes down to inch and a half line and that goes uh, underneath the structure of the dock all the way uh, to our pumps. You guys really overdid it. You've learned over the last 25 years different things running your business that you should do. So talk about some of the custom options and maybe where you went a little overboard because you knew it was gonna ensure the longevity of the dock. Yeah, absolutely. We really wanted a roof on a dock. When you're out in the sun working 10, 12 hour days and you can't get out of the sun and I'm fair skinned, I'll, I yeah. burn up like crazy. So it's really nice having a roof. The customers really enjoy being able to pull in here and get out of the sun for a little bit, get their kids some ice cream while they get gas. And then also uh, number one deal we uh, really went extra on for our dock slip is having all the, the cushions and the padding. We've got two different types of cushions from K&R Distributing. They're top of the line, biggest one, and uh, then the smaller ones that fill in any other space that those don't, don't cover. You, you guys have seen it. When you're renting boats and having people come in to get gas on a busy lake, man, stuff gets thrown around, stuff gets torn up. Not with this, and that's not the only ingenuity you showed when you guys built this. I want to talk about these guys right here, Adam. These are awesome. So these uh, PVC pipes are uh, basically a pulley for our gas lines. That way, whenever we walk the nozzle down to the back of a boat, the hose can slide on that PVC and spin it instead of rubbing on the, yeah. the metal pipe and wearing on the gas hose and saving our uh, hoses. Yeah, my little bitty garden hose I run into that with stuff, so I can only imagine. Another thing I wanna talk about is this right here, this incredible cable wire. I asked you what was going on with that, and you told me. So tell everybody watching what's going on. So for larger commercial docks and docks that are sticking further out from shore than what you can just attach cables to, to, to your seawall and that type of thing to stabilize, you need extra support the further you get out from shore. And so we've got four winches on this dock and each one has about 8,000 pounds of concrete holding it down. Um, and then those need to be adjusted as the lake level goes up and down to make sure that you're not too tight or the dock's not too loose and moving around and that type of thing. So just gotta keep an eye on things as, uh, as the year changes. Yeah, man, this is incredible. So you guys do it all here at Pirates Point. Now the girls are trying to get us to go out. So if you're down for it, you wanna get out on the water and kinda show them what a day with Pirates Point at Lake of the Ozarks is all about? Yeah, let's go uh, get out on a boat and do some tubing or something. Let's do it, baby. Well, that was awesome, guys. Thank you. I got to go into the water a little bit, so I'm gonna go dry off, and that's gonna wrap up this edition of the LOZ Feature Doc Series presented by Jonathan Hartenstein, the owner and broker with Lake Ozark Real Estate. For the entire Morris family from the 35-mile marker at Pirates Point, that's a wrap for this edition of our Doc Series. Hey.